Hi, hope you guys are doing well. So today I'll teach you about uh, two lava shaders and two water shaders. Both of these can be used for low poly or sterilized scenes. Uh, one lava shader will be for fresh lava, you know, like when the volcano erupts, and the other can be for you know when the lava is starting to freeze, you know, black uh, blackish type of lava when you know it's about to slow down and cool down. Uh, so let's get started. First, uh, I'll show you the lava scene. Uh, this is the cooling down lava shader basically lava is about to cool down in this one so i'll show you in the shader editor this is basically the node setup the we will need an animation shader with five value you can uh, add all of this node by shift a searching them uh, um, emissions like this emission color ramp noise mapping and texture coordinates so for texture coordinates generated into mapping node, mapping node default all settings unless you want to animate it, you can animate it by uh, scrolling the values of x, y or z. Uh, rotation, I don't think you will need it, but you could. And scaling, again, I don't think you will need it. Uh, need it. So default values, if you actually want a stable scene, but if you want to animate it, you can animate it by using the location settings or the rotation settings. And you can use it by uh, adding keyframes. Uh, you do know, how, I hope you guys do know how to add keyframes. Basically, uh, I over here, if I click uh, scroll above it, click I, there will be a keyframe. Then I'll click change the value, uh, or the, change the frames, and then change the value over here. Then I'll hit I again to add another keyframe, and then it will be animated. The noise texture, uh, scales 5, detail, and distortion. This can be uh, different depending on how you want it. And then there's the color ramp with this different uh, the color ramp. We have the constant setting, uh, constant setting, and uh, the colors are black, orange, light orange, and yellow into an animation shader. So after this, I'll show you the show you the um, new lava shader. See, it's a lot more simpler than the other one, and then we'll move on to the water shaders. There are two different types of them as well. So uh, this one, it basically has the color ramp and noise texture. With uh, again the noise texture having detail and distortion, they have different values. But uh, the color ramp is linear, and the uh, the colors are orange, orange and yellow because the is because it's lava is fresh we don't want it to be black like the other one and the emission value is three for this one again because it's enough so on to the water shaders so first this is the water shader uh it's uh, it was from originally by tooth spike eye but i actually will show you another thing in it um Oh, and by the way, if you want to create this uh, water displacement, just add a plane, subdivide it, and add a displacement modifier in the displacement modifier. Then add a texture and the Verona texture, texture, and you're going to need a lot of uh, subdivisions to do this. So then you'll get something like this. And what if I sh it doesn't matter. Okay, so for this one. We actually have a color ramp again with constant and three colors. You can change the color to your own, own liking, but for me, this one uh, this looks go look good enough. And you can also actually change diffusion to uh, translucent, and add you know lights or something to actually make it a lot prettier. Um, let me just show you how what I mean. If I actually change this to completely black, from diffuse to translucent. light sun let's just send it to a sun maybe the world should be a little bit um, lighter not completely black so the light is going to have a value of 1000 GZ I guess point will have to do yes I guess point will have to do for now uh, because it is so dark I don't add anything else
will actually look a lot better like this. If it's translucent, it will actually reflect light. Uh, right now, I don't have the correct setup. So, let me just add diffuse back in there. And you can animate it as well. Uh, Voronoi texture, scale of 3, noise texture, scale of 2, detail of 4, distortion. Again, these values can be different for you. Mapping node and texture coordinate should be object or generated. It's, but if you want to animate it easily, then go with generated. Add an empty and then add, uh, add an empty like over here. And uh, then uh, select empty over here too. So this way when you actually grab the empty, empty does not render to remember. And move it, then you can also see that the texture itself is moving. And to actually move the displacement, you also change the displacement modifier from over here to object and select the empty object. And you know, Voronoi over here. Voronoi texture over here to um, actually help it out uh, over here. Voronoi texture to you know change the displacement. So if you actually grab it over here, you see that the texture is moving a lot and it's going to be work for, uh, work into lakes, streams, maybe even oceans. If you actually change the black color, the darker blue more. Basically, if you actually make this over here, this actually uh, shows the uh, makes it look more oceanic. And if you actually make the lighter colors more prominent then it looks like it's more suitable for streams and other water bodies so now we'll actually sh i'll actually show you the other water shader it's actually really more simpler and this one is actually a simple Voronoi into water again it's actually following the same principle as the other one but again the color uh, system is b-spine into a diffuse, you can add, also add, change this diffuse into a translucent if you actually want to. Into a Verona simple scale can be different again for you. Uh, into mapping mode and into a texture coordinate object, and is, uh, the object is that it's empty. And also, uh, before I forget, if you actually scale the empty up or down, then it also scales the texture itself up uh, smaller or bigger. So, I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, please like the video, subscribe the channel. Uh, I'll try to keep more videos. Uh, I kind of have some a few problems uh, to deal with. That's why I, this is a late upload. Uh, so if, please subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.